With a central focus on Africa, 16 countries in total came together to discuss how to better harness the power of women's leadership to address the presence of small arms and how they contribute to violence and undermine safety on the continent and how we can work better together to advance peace and significantly reduce all forms of violence as called for in the Sustainable Development Goals, Target 16.1. Uh, this should provide more space for women leaders and women-led organizations who should involve with uh, men persons who are uh, intervening in these areas to be able to see how programming will get better and then see how resources can come for the right uh, interventions and the right capacities that we do. The voice of women is so low in this agenda and that there is power in the voice of women. So all men have a duty to promote the voice of women in this agenda, not only because they are victims, but also they are perpetrators in their own ways. But we have a pretty robust representation and, and very persistent and committed group of women who've joined us here today. We are also best practices from other countries that we need to learn to, to, to copy and also even from our own experience, lessons learned that we can do things better so we sustain the peace. We are expecting a um, more collective voice around how to advance these key priorities of women's leadership and arms control that we can take forward into policy communities in New York, uh, in Geneva and in other spaces. It was, it was a very good insightful, uh, especially bringing the you know, international actors as well as civil society representatives, bringing the ideas from all over across and discussing in a very in a two, in two days of intensive workshop. It was good for us as a UN, and it was a great privilege for us to present what, you know, what we've been doing and how that could be incorporated at the national and global level. We were exceptionally honored that the African Union was willing to provide the space in the Peace and Security Building for us to host uh, this event. It's very meaningful for the women who are gathered here, as well as the men who are gathered here, um, to be in the seat of collective African um, uh, political economic power um, and to think about how that can be leveraged and uh, complement work that's happening within countries across the continent. Uh, we've enjoyed being at the African Union, we've also very much enjoyed being in Addis.